valley make me a stream that runs through the mountains and under the trees. Would Carver do this for me? Well, I can carve you a house out of oak, out of pine. Make you a castle that sits on the Rhine. Even a cottage that no one can find. With the sun that forever will shine But I can't make it real for you It's only as real as the wood that I use I can't make your dreams come true That's something you'll have to do It comes natural to us. Now, there's a reason for it. <laughs> and it's pretty simple. There's none of us the full shilling. <laughs> we are not playing with the full deck. And I don't, I don't mean that in a derogatory sense. I mean that in a good sense. We have the ability, there's no question about it, we have the ability to laugh at certain things that other countries couldn't laugh at. People in other nations envy us for our wonderful, wonderful sense of humour. I'll give you the example, if I may. George Bernard Shaw, one of the great literary giants of our time, he was the man who said it many years ago. George Bernard Shaw said, Ireland, he says, is the only open-air asylum in Western Europe. <laughs> being run by the inmates. <laughs> That's why we can laugh. After years of oppression and the famine and everything else, we had to have humour to, you know, to put forward for ourselves. Supposing, for argument's sake, now this is only supposing, I don't want anybody going home upset or to panic, but supposing, for argument's sake, there was an announcement tomorrow. World War III will commence on Wednesday. The world would go into a state of panic and, and, and different nations react, like the French. A French man will react to that very simply. He's romantic. Once he hears that news, he'll go upstairs, he'll make mad passionate love to his wife and he'll go to the drawer and get a cigarette and a match and a pistol. And he'll go outside the back door of his house, he'll light up the cigarette and he'll draw on it and he'll smoke it to his heart's content and then he'll get the pistol. <laughs> That'll be the end of him. That's the way he deals with a crisis. American men, with all due respect, like, I mean, look, look back all those years ago to the Wall Street crash, jumping off the buildings when it went wrong. They were, there was buildings in New York in those times that weren't high enough. 
buildings weren't high enough for lads to jump off of because of, that's what the American man does. He gets into his car when he hears that news, drives to the highest building in town, he'll park his car in the basement, and he'll go to the 83rd floor, and he'll go out on the window ledge of the building. And he'll light, well, of course, he won't have a cigarette for his health. <laughs> but he'll jump off the building. And he'll land on the pavement 80 floors below. That's the end of him. That's how they deal with a crisis. That's why the Irish man, whoa, good luck to his lads. <laughs> We've been what the Irish man does in a case like that is, he'll go to Spain for three weeks. <laughs> and he'll hope it'll be over by the time he gets back. <laughs>